Hey guys, all right. Um, I had a few people request in my last video for me to do a marker and crayon technique just the way that I do it. Um, everybody does it differently. So I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna do a work on a buddy color out of Easter ceramic tiles and show you guys how I do this. I do it the same for pretty much any book, whether it's color by number or just a regular book that I want to use this technique. So, all right, this is the page we're going to be doing. Of course, I always have a backer page to make sure nothing goes through. This is one of my handmade bookmarks that I am sliding off the side here. This is um, a buddy color with Elizabeth Rector on Instagram and yeah, so I am going to work on this. So basically, I have a um, case to the side of me that has the Crayola Super Tips or Crayola like regular washable markers, you'll see, depending on the color. Um, and then I have another case here that has Crayola Twistables and regular crayons um, that I kind of use in combination. So... I'm gonna start with the marker. So I need 19 and 20 are the outlines, so the gray and the dark gray. So basically what I do is I have a set of these already separated that I use for um, Soch and Soch Deva's books um, because I work in them so often. I have his books as their own separate, as these separate cases, as I said. So again, I have a, just a regular gray. This is the one where it looks like it's like shiny silver on the top, but it's at the light gray and then just have a darker gray. So the key, in my opinion, to doing um, a crayon marker technique is move your book around. So if you get to a place that's hard to reach and it's kind of awkward, spin the book. Um, and that'll keep it nice and easy to work on. I don't uh where was I going with that? I don't even know. But yeah, I just go around and I don't do very thick outlines. If you guys can hear TV in the background, I'm sorry, but let me try to zoom in a little bit. I don't know how much you guys are seeing of that. But yeah, again, I just do what I can and then I spin my book around but I also do all of and this is like as of a few months that I've been doing it this way I go through and do all the marker outline first then do all the um coloring in with crayon and I just think that it goes faster when you do that rather than switching back and forth between oh I did that color let me do the crayon. But that's a personal preference. I don't think that, you know, one way is better than the other. I just, for me, and since I want to get as many pages done as possible, I feel like it works best for me to do all the marker outlining first and then go through and do the crayon. I um also... I'm very much a color switcher, I guess you could say. Like, I switch between colors. If I'm working on green and I get bored, I'll go to orange, etc. So, I don't stay on the color and just finish the whole color, if that makes sense. Which, of course, would probably be your um, fastest method. But I... And for some reason on these ceramic tiles specifically, I start on the outside, on the border. Um, I don't know why that is exactly. And I'm sorry if I get my head in this camera at all. But yeah, again, I very much spin the book as I need to where I can reach what I need to reach. So... that's all that lighter gray now I'm going to do the darker gray and again I 
I normally try my best to get these ones that are closest to the spine first. And I'm not sure why I am that way. Just because they're... What's the inside? I don't know. Sorry if there's like a weird squeaking noise. I'm not sure what's going on. But, um, but yeah, I just, like I said, go all the way through all the marker first. So, I know, like, I know a lot of people do these differently. I know people um, do, like, double marker where they do, like, a, a darker shade outline with marker and also color it in with a lighter shade of the same color. Um, but especially in these, um, ceramic tiles and, um, I have come to enjoy it in my colored caramel because the images are larger. They don't have as much detail. So I'd rather not waste all my markers trying to color that whole thing in and just use a combination. So, um... If you guys want me to do a separate video with a colored caramel page and this process, I will absolutely do that. But I definitely think it is pretty much the same process. Now for that though, I don't go and do all, um, sorry I'm saying um too much. I don't do all the marker first because I, the way I work those pages is a little bit, my thought process is a, little, is a little bit different because I am having to come up with colors on my own. So, if that, if you guys want a separate video on that, by all means, I'm happy to do that. Or if you guys want anything specific um, as far as videos go, I am open to your thoughts and ideas. Alright, so now I'm going to pull for the next color, which is three and that's a light brown but yeah like I said I just turn my book turn the marker turn my wrist you guys can see me moving in all different directions and that's I mean that's just how I work the best for this process um, and, you know, I don't do super thick outlines. I know um, other people like to do thicker outlining, which I love and I think it looks amazing, but I haven't, like, quite figured it out how to make it thick, but also keep it nice and somewhat straight. I say somewhat because it's by all means not completely straight. So, yeah, I, like I said, I don't go from one color to the next. I kind of go on these, you know, I do their patterns. So, okay, so here is all light blue. But, yeah, I don't know if this is, like, very fun to watch or not, but... I think what I might do is speed up. Um, when I get to the crayon part, maybe come back and do like a regular speed. But I pretty much do this throughout. Like I don't, process pretty much stays the same. Again, like I said, if I need to spin the book around, I will absolutely spin it around. Okay, so th this is a 19 and 18. So 19 is the light gray. 18 is peach. So yeah, I think after this set right here, I am gonna probably just speed color until I get to the crayon part. That way you guys are not sitting here for 315 years <laughs> um, watching me outline boxes. But yeah, I mean, 
that's pretty much all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the speed color and then meet you back for crayon work. Hey. hey guys all right we are back and this is the crayon portion i'm just gonna start doing some of it and then i'll we'll leave it at that and then i'll post the finished page on instagram so that way i'm not having to be here for like 20 years to show you all the easiest process ever um however i do use a combination of the 50 set of crayola twistables twistable crayons, the 50 set, and I use regular crayons for some of the, like for dark green, hot pink. I don't have hot pink on this page, but for a couple different colors, I use um, regular crayon. So, and then there are some times where I just get my huge box of crayons and just go to town. So, you know, it just depends on, um, what I'm feeling like. But like I said, I do have this separated with twistables and regular crayons that are color matches for this book. So it's a lot of times that's just easier for me to grab. Um, however, here um, I normally do the um, same color until it's complete. So, like, when I was doing the outlining, I go from color to color and switch it up. But when I'm coloring with the crayons, I do all the yellow, for example, then gray, and do all of the same color. I don't know. Why am I saying it like that? That doesn't even... I'm going crazy, y'all. All right. Well, anyways, I'm going to find my light gray that I love to use. So, yes, I am digging through Crayola Twistables. But, yeah. So, the Crayola Twistables don't have color names so take that with what you will um they do on the box have names but i don't know why they don't print them on the twistables themselves i try my very best to get the closest color to the outline um i don't know why i do that but that is just how i like to work it if you want to go a shade lighter um, a lot of people like that, but I feel like either way, since you're using crayon, they're going to be lighter than the marker regardless. So it'll have a, that nice outline, but but yeah, so the, like I said, if, so I'm starting with light gray right now, I will go through and do all of the light gray that's on the page. And then, um, move to the next color, if that makes sense. So, um, it, I'm gonna do all of the light gray. There was light gray in our some of our pattern. So I'm gonna go through and do that. But yeah, I, you know, I don't know if I really did a great job explaining this video. I hope it's still helpful. Um, I think that's all light gray. Cool. I need the darker of the grays. Yeah, so I, like I said, I hope you guys still enjoyed this. 
I hope that it's helpful. Um, I don't know if it was very, very informative, but for the most part, I use my Crayola Super Tips and my um, Crayola Twistable Crayons. Um, but you know, like I said, I do occasionally use regular crayon. Um, after I do this gray, I'll show you guys. For like the darker green here, I use a regular crayon. And I will show you guys um, that in just a second. I just, basically I, this is pretty much how I do it. It's nothing that complicated. Let me find that gray, dark green crayon. Is it this one? Yeah. Is it that one? Yeah. I use pine green and sometimes I use um, asparagus green, just a regular Crayola crayon. And so for my darker green, I like the ones that come in regular crayons. Um, I feel like in the Twistables, the darkest green to me is what I would consider to be like the true green, like regular green and not a very, very dark green. That's just my opinion. So that's why I have a regular crayon that I pull for this one. Um, also, and this is not a page where hot, I used hot pink, but for hot pink, I use one of the neon pink crayons actually. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, I use neon, it's called shocking pink and it's a neon crayon. So that's just, that's just the colors I like. Um, you know, like I said, mostly I'm using the Crayola Twistable crayons though. As far as that goes, just cause why not? I have them and they've been lasting me a while. You guys know I have finished one ceramic tile book or two? I think one, I think just one ceramic tile book. And that's what I use. So the twistables last a nice long time. And I feel like I haven't even like put a dent in mine. Uh, let me find, where's my green? So I can show y'all, is this it? Yeah, this is the darkest green that they give you in the twistables. I don't, you're not telling true color on camera, but it's just, you'll see when I color in the bigger leaf here, this true green, it's just a true green. It's not even really a dark green. And that's the darkest green that comes in there in my opinion. Yeah, they have olive -y green, but I don't know that I wanna use that in, for this type of book. I don't think that that's really where I needed to go with the color of green. So, but yeah, oh, I forgot part of the dark green, but, but yeah, I, like I said, hope this was a helpful video. I hope that you guys try this. If you do try the crayon marker method and you've never tried it before, I would love to see what your pages um, look like. And would love to see them on Instagram. Um, I would be happy if you would message them to me or tag me just so that I would, could see what you guys are working on. Also, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you would like to see a separate video for um, this process in non-color by number, um, I would absolutely love to do it. Sorry for the camera shake probably when I get to the big spaces. Um, but yeah, as far as that goes, I'd probably work in a colored caramel book because those are the ones, that style is what I would use crayon marker for as far as non-color by numbers. And that is because of the large spaces. Like I feel like, as I said in the beginning, you're wasting a marker to try to color a whole large area like that. So 
Um, yeah. If you guys would like to see that, um, please, 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 please let me know. I will, I would love to do that and I may just do it anyways, but, um, yeah, I hope that this was helpful and enjoyable. Like I said, I am going to probably finish this up off camera and then post it on Instagram, but yeah, and I hope that you guys got something from this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.